What's up everyone, Alex here. I know it's March already and it's been a while since the release of Fire Emblem Engage, but I just came across some really interesting behind the scenes info about it that you might want to know about and can explain why Fire Emblem Engage turned out the way that it did. This news comes by way of Reddit, and this is actually a translation from a Japanese magazine interview with the developers. So I want to thank Darkrest23 on Reddit for sharing this info. So the thing that really struck me the most was the fact that Engage was actually developed around the same time as Three Houses. And given the difference in performance between the two games, that's really striking to me. We'll come back to that later. Something that pretty much confirms what I thought of in the review of Fire Emblem Engage was that the developers deliberately went for a completely opposite direction in tone compared to Three Houses. They say that this is for experimentation and exploration as to what Fire Emblem could be as a franchise. I think massaging those ideas a bit further, they might come up with something that'll please a lot of fans. I'm not going to say everybody because, as the age-old adage goes, you try to please everybody, you please nobody. And this is really interesting. Engager's release was meant to coincide with the franchise's 30th anniversary and was supposed to release in 2020. And last year, there was a leak that actually claimed that it was supposed to come out in 2020, and this interview confirms that. The reason why it was delayed was because of COVID-19 which it's no surprise a lot of games were really affected by the pandemic. What's really cool about this is that the delay allowed the developers to polish the gameplay, and particularly the engage mechanic a bit further. And going back to what I said earlier, I think this also allowed the developers to really fine tune the engine to create these really wonderful visuals that engage had. It's certainly very striking compared to other Fire Emblem games before it. In Japan, Engage originally had a 0C rating. This rating is particularly for players of 15 years old and more, before it was later lowered to B, which is 12 and up, so that the game could be marketed to a younger demographic. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they want to market what is essentially a 30th anniversary celebration to a younger audience? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's because this will allow them to actually attract newer fans who might be interested in the series that they never were able to attract before. And if there's anything that we've learned from this interview, these are all deliberate style choices to gain a lot of positive attention that they can harness going into the next game. And I think the experimentation is really good, by the way, especially in the gameplay department. By the way, this interview is only part one of this interview, and next month they're actually going to have more information about the development of Fire Emblem Engage. But I wanted to share this information with you because this is so fascinating, and I think this really kind of underscores some of the ideas that I had of why Fire Emblem Engage was created, which is again to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the series and also try to branch out and experiment. Because I do think that there is something really valid here, and I think what really benefited in Fire Emblem Engage was the gameplay, the graphics, and the overall presentation. I want to know what you think of all these news. Did you play Fire Emblem Engage? Did you have fun? Post your thoughts in the comments below and let's talk about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.